Look at the rivers, look at the trees, look at the sunlight, let it all in. Look at the mountains, praise Elohim, look at the rivers, look at the trees. Look at the sunlight, let it all in. Look at the mountains, praise Elohim. Look at the rivers, look at the trees. Look at the sunlight, let it all in. Look at the mountains, praise Elohim. Blessings and welcome forward to Reasonings right here at the Trail Life on the Road. I'm your host, Jerome Sage Butler. Just want to give thanks for the divine presence of the Most High God. Today's inference, today's addition, today's offering is in the spirit of praise and worship. Now, never too much is the presence, the essence, the experience, and the events of praise and worship. Many people ask why it is that the godlike qualities and the gifts and the grace of the Spirit isn't coming on to them. They seek so much to be filled in church sessions and crusades and concerts that for a moment it seems that their lives are all based upon externalized connections with the Most High. But in cultivating divine relationship with divine Elohim, it's about going inside. Praise and worship is your individual sense of devotion. It is the events of life. Welcome the, pres welcome the presence of the angels. Welcome the presence of the Most High God. Welcome the essence of the Most High. Sing, chant and praise. Let positive vibration, word, sound and energy be transformed and be to the transforming of your spirit and the renewing of your mind. Let the glory of praise and worship in your own environments, in your own communities, in your own avenues, in your own lane. It doesn't have to be a major church event or something that holds your mind or holds your distraction. It has to be something that is natural, something that is engaging, that is actual, that you're a part of, that the process is natural within you to share in the praise and the glory and the glorification and the edification through the deification and the glorification of the Most High Divine Christ. It is beautiful when we can praise. It is beautiful when praise and worship takes on the form of true devotion. That your experiences can be of worth and value. That you can find your way to a, a presence, a place of divine comfort. A sense of providence. A sense of peace. Sing, encourage your kids. Encourage your kids, full courage your kids. To sing praises unto the Most High. Let it become a practice because... It is something that has filled your soul. Music is a resonance that is a healing source. It's a healing force. And oh, what a beautiful interaction when the human soul is allowed to be imbued into the essence of music and praise through worship to be able to connect and let the joys of the angels sing along with your chorus line and your songs where melodies in your heart can alight your chakras, that you can be free, that you can have the energy to deal with the many configurations of your daily lives, that the children and the issues that are troubling you currently in your lives, the misunderstandings, the miscommunication, music through a sense of praise and worship, through a true devotion, imbues in your experience a godliness. You won't have to ask for the presence of God. You won't have to always wait for choir Sundays. And you don't have to wait for praise and worship Wednesdays. And you don't have to wait for the great evangelical concert with all the great gospel and religious and spiritual artists within your own personal environment go into your quiet place go by the river sit outside in nature in your backyard out on your porch give god the divine praise through worship worship the most high through songs through sonnets through paintings through crafts through sculpture through fashion let the Spirit of the Most High align you 
and be alive in you. Sing and chant for joy. Sing and chant for healing. Hum a sweet, resonating tune. Clear resonance of absolute harmony. Get into the resonance of peace. Being in the heavenly realms is harmonious. It is absolutely soothing and peaceable. And a peaceable nature it offers unto you. Clap and chant to the children. Clap and chant with your spouses. Espouse some true devotion through praise and worship. Be careful in how you approach your praise and worship because the reverence you truly want within your own environment will last within the environment. So unbelief, disbelief will always burden the spirit of true salvation. We say through the Christ it is done unto you as you believe. Sing praises of restoration. Hallelujah. Sing praises of renewal. Welcome the presence of divine Christ, the most high God to be your shield and buckler, your guide and safety, your reminder, your navigator, your source and your energizer, your recharge, your rejuvenator. In this moment of presence and place and presence of being, sing and chant joyously, joyfully, hallelujah, to the soul of the most high, thy God. Let it resonate that even the environment even the birds will sing a great melody, will hum a great tune with you. Even the pets in your home will chirp along, will bark along, will meow along. The animals will join you in this awesome chorus of divine praise and worship. Providence, divine providence, divine place in true appreciation, appreciate loving the gift of God so it can resonate with you where you are, as you are within your lives, giving you the strength to overcome your fears, your worries, your wanderings, your loss, your confusion, to reconcile all these loss to restoration, to healing, to harmony. Hum a tune, strike up a note, strike it from the heart, hallelujah, strike it from the soul. It doesn't have to be on the perfect key or pitch. In time, the true resonance of the soul will harmonize you, will calibrate you, will balance you, will centrally centralize you and efficiently allow you to be present and be happy in the presence of the Most High. It is through effort that we achieve this closeness, hallelujah. And even in your praise and in your worship, sometimes your songs, sometimes your chant, Sometimes your praises, sometimes your sonnets, sometimes your work of art, sometimes your work of fashion, sometimes your creative crafts will be oppressed, will be restricted, will be rejected, will be oppressed, will be repressed, will be suppressed, will be pushed aside. But you must be consistent in your faith, consistent and persistent and determined to keep on singing to keep on chanting, hallelujah, to keep on praising, to keep on painting that great work of divine art, that great translation of divine presence. Keep at it because it will magnify and at some point you will find your greater self and at some point you will find that you do strike the right chord and you do hit the right note. Look at the rivers Look at the trees, look at the sunlight, let it all in. Look at the mountains, praise Elohim. Look at the rivers, look at the trees. Look at the sunlight, let it all in. Look at the mountains, praise Elohim. Look at the rivers, look at the trees, 
Look at the sunlight, let it all in. Look at the mountains, praise the Lord. Look at the rivers, look at the trees, look at the sunlight. Let it all in. Look at the mountain. Praise the Lord. Just reminding you to keep praising, to keep worshipping the glory of Divine Presence, Divine Christ, divine creator in our life. O most high God and Father, thank you for another moment, yet another moment, to offer praises, to worship in true devotion, in true spirit and truth, which is our lives in devotion. Love you, blessings, take care of yourselves. Remember that you are an awesome divine gift unto yourselves and unto others. Give thanks for this gift, give thanks, hallelujah, for the divine creator, who art, the designer, fashioner, and maker of this gift. Blessings until.